Hi there, this is uh, Shrikant Sari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to learn about uh, uh, so how to take uh, uh, string input uh, from the keyboard or from the user. Okay. So in the last uh, in the last three lessons, we have uh, learned how to take an integer input, uh, floating point constants like float and double input, and a single character input from keyboard. Okay. So now we will focus on uh, so how to take a string uh, uh, input uh, from the uh, string and not only string but also a line of text. Uh, okay. Uh, from the keyboard. Okay. So let me launch the IDE. So we know that we are using uh, NetBeans 8.02, which is an awesome IDE uh, to write code for uh, Java. So I'm creating a new project here. Uh, so let me uh, name the project to keep it simple as string input. Okay. So just click finish. So NetBeans just does some task for us automatically creating some sort of uh, blank and empty Java template here. Okay. So I'm going to full screen and I'm just writing uh, the basic stuff like a uh, package. If I remember, I have given the name of the project as uh, string input here. Okay, so followed by uh, main class or the class which consists of the main. Okay, so string input public string input. Uh, so it consists of. Uh, mm, excuse me. Okay, so now it consists of our uh, main method string input okay so there is some problem here oh <laughs> so i haven't even uh, put the class here okay so public uh, so public static void main goes here followed by the string x to catch the command line arguments here okay so we have a basic main uh, function here within the class here okay so now what we are going to do is uh, first, first import that uh, util package also since we are going to use this uh, uh, the u since we are going to use the scanner class which is defined in the uh, util package okay so now uh, so first let me take a variable uh, for string here okay so string s okay or else uh, string uh, let's say name Okay, so let me say uh, let me say a name here. Okay, so now uh, what happens is uh, so let me define an object for our scanner class as usual we are doing. Okay, so new scanner of uh, system dot in. Okay, so we have uh, just defined an object for our uh, scanner class, and now what we are going to do is uh, so let me have a message here. So system dot out dot print system dot dot print okay so inside that uh, so let me uh, say like enter a message okay so enter a string or enter your name so whatever the message you want you can uh, have inside that okay so enter a name okay so now uh, so using this uh, uh, name uh, assigning the name and using our uh, scanner object which we have taken as in so you can use this uh, in dot next here okay so this method uh, does the task for us okay so it uh, what it does is it just grabs a string from the user and stores it in the form of a string in and assigns it to the variable uh, so with this statement you are grabbing a string from the user input and assigning it to a name variable which is also a string here okay so now you can uh, print whatever the string you have taken from the user as input using the system.out.println method here. Uh, so let's say so your name is so and so. Okay. So you can use your uh, concatenation symbol and you can say here name. So that's it. Okay. So with this tiny little set of instructions uh, you can uh, uh, input uh, your name or you are able to in give an input uh, to the system uh, your uh, what uh, some sort of a string here okay so if you run this program so as usual it asks for you to give some name okay so let me give my name which is Srikanth good to go okay so but there is a small uh, problem uh, in this uh, kind of uh, uh, scenario okay so if you give if you run this program once again uh, if and if we are uh, crazy enough and if i give my full name which is which goes like this srigant naidu tasari okay so this is my full name okay so if you give uh, something like this uh, now if you press enter 
so unfortunately uh, you are uh, uh, get you are got rid of uh, the remaining uh, name here okay so every person consists of a first name followed by a last middle name followed by a surname or last name okay uh, some sort of uh, uh, three case scenarios okay uh, so uh, this uh, this plain uh, next method uh, will not uh, do that task here okay so to do that uh, you need uh, you need to have a next line method here okay so until now we haven't encountered this next line method so next line method uh, not only takes takes just one string it reads the entire string until you press until you go to the next line here okay so for to demonstrate that let me take another variable let me say uh, full name so i'm taking another variable i'm just saying it as a full name so now full name is equal to in dot so now instead of using a next let me use this uh, next line method here okay so with this with this method uh, so before that let me have a small message here system dot out dot uh, print ln print or else just print and let me say that uh, mm, so let me say that enter so let me say that as a enter so enter your uh, full name okay something like this some uh, some sort of uh, reasonable message here okay so now what happens here is uh, so we have taken a next line method uh, we have taken other variable uh, full name here to demonstrate the use of uh, the next line method here okay so now we can uh, happily use the system dot uh, out dot print uh, print uh, ln method uh, just to print out uh, what we have uh, given here okay the full name so or else you can say your full name so whatever you wanted okay so your full name is equal to so your full name is equal to and plus sign and you can say your uh, take the variable as uh, full name here okay so in this way uh, you can uh, make use of uh, that uh, next line method and uh, get the whole line of text or else you can name it a full name or you can grab the some uh, combination of different different words and you can uh, you can make a sentence or something like that here okay so let's run the program so say asks us for name if you do something like this and if you do something crazy like this if you're entering your full name it's not gonna work here okay so that's not the case here okay so enter your full name enter your full name uh, enter your full something some sort of uh, wrong thing happened here uh, what happened here is uh, okay so it seems like uh, we have uh, uh, messed something here so let's check it out uh, once again so we have, i have just uh, given my name uh, so if i am not crazy i have given my name and it's skipping here okay so this is the problem which happens uh, when you uh, when you are uh, aren't clearing your uh, buffer here okay so to clear the buffer uh, just you uh, put this statement here okay so take the scanner object and add this method uh, int next line so this acts as a, a f flush in c uh, which clears the buffer here okay so now if you run your program so if you're crazy enough if you give your first name and now it uh, the cursor waits clears the buffer and then and then asks for your full name so which you can achieve uh, by using the next line method here okay so this takes the next line if you're using uh, the program so if you observe here for the very for the very first output uh, we have taken only the next method uh, using the scanner object in so for the next uh, couple of uh, for the next thing we have taken the next line method uh, so which is which solves the purpose of taking uh, the entire line of text or collection of words uh, or sentence or something like that here okay so in this way uh, you can differentiate uh, the two kinds of uh, uh, the two kinds of uh, variables are using uh, so the two kinds of uh, strings which is a single string or a single word and you can take uh, the multiple words or uh, the whole line of text using the using the next line method here okay uh, i'm just putting a comment here uh, to input a single single word or a string okay to here the next line method uh, so here we are using the next line method uh, to input to input a line of text or a group of words to input line of text or group of words here, okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, uh, grabbing the input uh, from the uh, keyboard uh, in java using a scanner class so grabbing grabbing uh, to be more clear grabbing the 
uh, string input in Java using the scanner class here. Okay, to summarize once again, here we have taken a, a scanner object uh, in. Okay, so we have just uh, created a new uh, scanner object, and then we have taken a variable uh, since we are uh, here. Our intended to uh, grab the string as input, or uh, so that's the reason we have taken a name variable. So if you use a next method uh, associated with your uh, scanner object, so here you are only able to uh, give input as a single word here. Okay, so if you are using a next line method, uh, so then you are able to uh, give the whole line of text or a collection of uh, words or full name or something like that here. Okay, so run the program for the one last time. So you can see again, again I'm saying my name. So my full name. You can, if you want, you can. If you use the next line method, you are able to give the full name here. Okay. So see you in the next lesson. Uh, goodbye.